Hello students, welcome to our today's class. In the today's class, we are going to learn about the ozonolysis concept in detail. So there are types of ozonolysis and we will take the difference between those types and all in detail. So first of all, the ozonolysis can be classified or divided into two types or it takes place in two types. That is one is reductive ozonolysis, another one is oxidative ozonolysis. So first of all, you can take a reductive ozonolysis. So in the reductive ozonolysis, what we are using and in the oxidative ozonolysis, what we are using, that plays very important role here. For example, first case, reductive ozonolysis. In the reductive ozonolysis, here, first ozone as usual, zinc and water we are using. In the first step, ozone, second step, zinc and water, underline zinc. So it is playing important role in this. Whereas coming to the oxidative ozonolysis, first one is common ozone and water. We are not using zinc, but upside reductive ozonolysis, not only zinc, we can also use dimethyl sulfide. So it is also used okay in the reductive ozonolysis in the oxidative only water can be used okay so we can learn with the help of one example the two types of ozonolysis right first i am taking this example in this example very simple ozonolysis here see this is one compound where there is a double bond just you write there o double bond o this is a simple trick type trick so that after that what's going on here that two double bonds between two carbons two double bonds between oxygen get separated so here you will get one and here you will get one product okay so this oxygen go to left hand side this oxygen go to right hand side and one more thing is what is this was analysis or oxidative or reductive zinc we are using that's why confidently we can say that is a reductive ozonolysis in that there is no doubt and we are getting two products we must be aware of that products what we are getting here that is very important okay coming to that here product acetone and formaldehyde okay this is a reductive ozonolysis now coming to the oxidative ozonolysis in the oxidative ozonolysis we are using what uh, ozone and water we are not using here zinc so then go for products what are the products here see the very important point we are not getting formaldehyde here we are getting here formic acid this is very important but upside formaldehyde and here formic acid these two points see what's the difference why upside in the reductive version analysis we are getting only formaldehyde and downside process how can we get formic acid here we need to remember one important point that point is first one here if you take a reductive ozonolysis reductive ozonolysis reaction stops at aldehydes stops at aldehydes so further reaction never be taking never takes place where in the reductive ozonolysis so that's the major point whereas coming to the whereas coming to the oxidative ozonolysis so if you take oxidative ozonolysis reaction it stops at what carboxylic acid that means here aldehyde can be converted into what can be converted into carboxylic acid where in the reductive ozonolysis have you got it sorry, sorry. in the oxidative ozonolysis whereas reductive ozonolysis nothing only it stops at aldehydes why what's going on in the reductive what is going on in the reductive ozonolysis because we are using zinc that's why it stops up to aldehyde whereas coming to the oxidative ozonolysis what's going on here that aldehyde again it involves in the change that means again it involves in the oxidation and it is converted to the what carboxylic acid have you got it so this step is very important step that's why we are getting a different products in the ozonolysis of reductive and ozonolysis of oxidative thanks for watching bye bye